G'day. Welcome to Top Performance Products, the home of Coney Shock Absorbers in Australia. So this time we're doing something a little bit different. We normally fit shock absorbers to vehicles or we take them for a drive first. We fit shock absorbers and we do a test afterwards. This time we're going to put some Coney Raid 90s that have fitted this Nissan Navara to the test. And the fun part about this is, um, well, I'm not really a full driver, so I'm going to, I'm taking up the bush. So I'm going to, going to uh, take you on a journey, um, loading the vehicle, preparing it, and it's a seven day trip. So I'm going to take you on a day to day trip. We're going to go with a group of people with T vans. We'll go for a bit of a day to day sort of tour and you go and learn along with me because like I said, I've been in full drives before and I've been in the bush occasionally, but I've never actually been the one to pilot the full drive and have to prepare for the trip as well. So, so as I stated earlier, I'm not really a full driver. I'm sort of more of a road car user. So that's my sort of normal vehicle of choice. So this is going to be a bit of fun. But as you might have noticed in front of the car, there's a whole heap of gear. So I've got a list of stuff uh, from Trent that I need to load into the car. And the list is quite comprehensive, which includes recovery gear, compressors and tire deflators. So I've got a road safe tire deflator there, road safe compressor. No, he's getting some rope, so swag. Also got an ax and a shovel bow saw over there as well. Uh, full recovery kit, so that's a full road safe recovery kit with snatch straps. We've got some soft shackles there too, just a lot safer than the old uh, D shackles. These soft shackles, um, it's just as strong, surprisingly stronger and uh, less of a chance of um, doing damage. Uh, lots of water, uh, not only a tool kit, but you know, emergency repair, stuff, stop leak, uh, um, you know, exhaust bandages, things like that. Also got uh, service items, so if I throw a belt or a filter or something while we're uh, up in the hills, I've got all the all of the uh, service items. Well, they're T-Van shocks. I'm just taking those along uh, on the off chance if someone with a T-Van has an issue. Well, I've got the shock absorbers there just, just in case. So like it's purely, um, purely just in the off chance I may need them. Other gear, I've got food and everything inside. Uh, another spare wheel, so I recommend two spare wheels. There's a spare under it and that spare. And of course, I've got the Waco fridge, which is great, which has been lent to me. I've been pretty fortunate to be lent a lot of gear. Tanya uh, Alat, the GM of RoadSafe, has lent me a whole heap of gear and my brother also lent me a swag. And here we go too, look, we've got a battery there from uh, Federal Batteries that uh, was fitted up yesterday actually by the RoadSafe guys and Baxter's MTQ provided the uh, the wiring system there. Look at that, it's a beauty. So... There it all is. It's in there with room to spare. I'll still tie straps over that so it doesn't wiggle around. But so the only thing with this, so there's food going in there, food going in there, so that's two empty spaces. So no problem. Room for clothes, bag of clothes, job done. Beautiful. All right. So as I said before, I'm not really a four-wheel driver. Actually, I've, I've never gone on a four-wheel drive trip before. I'm a complete novice. This is the car that I usually choose to drive in my recreation. If anybody does follow our channel, you might recognize this car uh, from one of the um, videos that we did when we fitted Coney uh, Sports. So Coney Yellow, some people call them, Coney Sports, to this particular car. 
uh, and the, the beauty of Coney Sports is they're externally adjustable. The reason why I'm talking about external, externally adjustable shock absorbers is uh, just as, as a note, uh, Coney is now doing 90 series externally adjustable for the 300 series Land Cruiser. Uh, so front and rear for the 300 series and they're also available just front for the 200 series. Top performance products has them in stock. So if you are interested in looking at the 90 series externally adjustable, we've got a video on our page. It's a black 300, just look for the black 300 series. So if you're putting uh, 300 Coney, I think you'll find it pretty quickly. And also too, of course, if you're interested in Coney sports, sports cars uh, and Coney classics, we do a lot of shock absorbers for classic cars as well. Uh, check out our page or we'll contact Top Performance for your nearest stockers. Day one, getting ready to head off to Coryong. Coryong is stop one, so we've got about well, five and a half hours driving ahead of us, so it's all road driving, a little bit boring, so. One of the good things about the Coney Raid 90s, being quite firm, is that they give the four wheel drive car-like handling characteristics. Here's an interesting observation. Now that the car's loaded, the ride is really smooth. Now, I'm not saying the ride was overly harsh before, but the raids are known for sort of being heavy on the rebound because they're such a large shock absorber. So they really come into their own when you're obviously going across treacherous terrain or constant um, washouts or you know undulations, things like that. But when the car's unladen, you know, it's, it's, it's relatively firm. But now, just with the camping gear and you know, all the supplies for a week's tour, it, it drives it's noticeably smoother. It's just a little bit less harsh in the tail. Um, so I guess that would uh, also say that it'd be really nice towing when you get a bit of weight over the rear axle. But even now, it's, it's, it's still firm. It still handles nice. But yeah, it's really, it's really nice. It's the nature of the suspension. It's nice. So here we are arriving in Corion. The total trip took about five and a half hours. Roughly about 437 kilometres. So this is pulling into the Mount Metabatite Caravan Park where I'm meeting the rest of the TV crew and Trent Moon from Moon Tours. It's a little bit of a wet start today too. I think we're going to have some slippery tracks today. Okay, day two. Just got up. Uh, I've already started to write what's happening today. Rain. It's wet, so it's been raining all night. I think we're gonna get really, really slippery today. So, let's see what happens. brother gave me the same advice before we left so I've slotted in a full drive since we hit the um, hit the gravel another thing Trent was mentioning for the, for the people that are towing the vans um, to save the transmission if you're driving an auto from overheating uh, flicking it into manual mode and um, pre-selecting the gear so that the transmission is not always looking for a gear which is going to keep it a bit cooler 
I was just, well, I guess in summer especially, that it um, make a hell of a difference. So I don't So here we are arriving at Nunanong Plains. So these plains are uh, well known for uh, horse sightings. So there's quite a lot of Brumbies around this area. Um, so we're just sort of pulling up in unison here to uh, get a bit of a photograph. Unfortunately, the weather's terrible. So um, not looking forward to getting out here, but let's brave the rain and get a bit of a shot of the crew lined up. So here everyone is out of the car braving the weather for a nice photo opportunity. Keep a look out across the horizon to see if we can see any Brumbies, but none here on this plane, unfortunately. Trent was saying there's usually a lot of them, but we've missed out this time, unfortunately. Brumbies down there behind the trees. See down there, he's having a bit of a look at us. So here we are pulled over for a case of checking the tyres. Uh, checking the tyres is actually code for someone needing to go to the loop. So this happens of course occasionally on the trip. A very wet end to day two. It's been pretty much raining the entire day. We've ended up here at Bentley Plains. Uh, so the TVN's sort of spread out all over the place. I'll do a quick walk around. Excuse the water on the lens because it's really, really wet. So we've got a few people scattered out over here. And then across the road. Yeah, there's a bit of water land on the lens now. There's not much I can do, it's just pouring down. So you can see we've got people sort of scattered out through here. But check out the cool little setup I've got. I've got a swag. Pretty lucky to uh, have nabbed the little hut Hilton here. So there's the Coney truck nestled away there. And, uh, and here we have dark in here so I'll drop a bit of light, throw a bit of light onto the subject. So there's my swag inside the hut. What a ripper. So today consisted of just mainly dirt roads. There's some really muddy patches and quite a few corrugations. The car went brilliantly, didn't skip a beat and it uh, yeah it was nice. It was just I'm not driving a Navara, the suspension handled perfectly. Didn't really need any anything special today. There wasn't any big um, big ruts or anything like that. But no, brilliant. So that's the end of day two. Peace out.